I honestly don't like him very much. Anything else I can like... Before we follow him? Nope. No. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just it all came flooding back. Here goes fast. It's just been a year. Oh. Wanted poster. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Milgram like Victor? So. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense. That's the killer! As well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Bro, it's 100% the killer. Like, what are you talking about? Also, this takes place in Alberta. I think. Collect clues to solve the mystery of Until Dawn and increase your chance of survival. Can I find a clue like, uh, like, oh, he's allergic to shrimps or something. I can just like, uh, put one in my mouth and spit it on him or something. Beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Grizzly Adams? Right. Here goes. Oh, I'm gonna control him? The sisters and right. the stalker. Okay. Blackwood I'm Mountain, bad. colloquially known I'm as bad. Mount I'm Washington, the largest snow mountain located in Alberta. I don't think so, girl. Bro, that explains so much. That explains the. Well, uh, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Not true. No. I refuse, bro. We're not shooting the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm not shooting the squirrel. Come on, Chris, the cable car. I should totally take the gun. I mean, they don't know they're in a horror movie game. Really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who. No, he's okay, the same thing. Just ask for help, you know. Yeah. Why is he looking there? Oh, is he going to say something different? Awesome. Nope, he doesn't care. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. I don't know. There's a wanted poster. After you. Oh, real gentleman. 
Also, I'm sure there's no other way to get in there. Did you lock it? Please tell me you locked it. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing like Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. Like a sanatorium? Bro, that's that's like a, a like a, a asylum thingy, isn't it? Wait, it showed something else for a second there. Like a bath? What did it show? Can I see it again? Guess not. For people to recover. Hey. Like, they keep saying, like, the butterfly effect has been updated. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Sanitarium, also spelled sanitarium or sanitorium, is a medical facility for long-term illness, most typically associated with the treatment of tuberculosis in the late 19th and early 20th century before the discovery of antibiotics. A distinction is some some sometimes made between sanitarium or the Eastern Euro Europe European sanatorium, a kind of health resort, as in the Battle Creek Sanitarium. Oh, so it's a health health resort. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but. Bro, like for real, I would, I would never go there. Why, why are they even going there? Like it looks like murder car. town. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. No, it wasn't. You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made oh. him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yeah, but like... All, like, imagine your friendship is because of a training bra. Oh, God. She looks so plasticky. Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Oh. 
She was like. Like, that's super creepy. She's made of metal. <laughs> She's made of metal. Oh, true. Oh. What the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? But yeah, do it. She don't wait to bend him out. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um. Insist. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. We totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just I also don't like to be in other people's nostrils. Uh, I try to avoid it as much ahead. as possible. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Yes. Mike's ex. Wow, that's going to be a fun party. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I like to be in my nostrils. Uh, I, sure. Your own nostrils. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Hey, Tiff, what game is this? It's, it's a, um, it's a horror game. It's basically, it's set in Canada and, um, we have to, uh, we basically make decisions when prompted in, in the game and try not to kill people. We try to survive until the morning, basically. Um, we've been playing this for a little less than an hour. And um, as you can see in the corner there, we already have uh, two deaths. So, yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm very happy to see you, Tiff. Shino's going to kill them all and he's trying to keep them alive. <laughs> yeah, that's... We all know that's not going to happen. Like, there's... There's no way I don't kill everybody. I'm not going to confirm or deny. Wow. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend. Wait, who's Emily? Ambitious and active. Was that the lady I just saw? I just for, I forgot her name already. No. And where's the bell? Yeah, she is. Okay. Need one? So they okay. There are a couple. Where are they? Are they like ahead of us? Ahead of the other characters? Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting Weird creeped out. Everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Do 
You've got issues, man. Oh my god. Oh. Whew. Emily's ex. Wait, who's Emily? Intelligent driven persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really oh, she's really Emily. Can't see your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. We're all friends here, come on. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. <laughs> We're so gonna make out. Oh my god. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Oh my God. That's so, that's such an excuse to go. Yeah, she wants to go see the dude. Yeah. Like, okay, I, <laughs> they're not going to kill someone just now, are they? It's too early. Like, we got the intro, we got the two kills, right? They're going to give, like, they're going to space them out. Well, I mean, in real life, I would, I would totally trust, like, if it were, if it were me and Van, I would trust Van. Um, and like, I know a friend is like down the same way, like, right? Like, like her ex was like right there. Never too early to, to kill him. It's, it's Pooks land. I mean, yeah, but like we have the non previous knowledge of the fact that like there's a killer on the loose. So because it's a killer on the loose, I'm going to say persist. She's not going to like um, it, though. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out, and it's getting dark. You're going to protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's going to steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? She is uh, way sus. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. She is way sus. Like, like seriously, you can't let him, me go and, like, smooch with my ex? Plus, like you said, like, like literally, people died a year ago as a crush on Chris. Inquisitive Fortnite. Okay. I, I need to, oh, oh, I, I need to, like. I 
I really wish I could see all the characters. They're, it's too early. I don't know all of their names. She's definitely pretty, yeah. Oh, Phoenix! Hi, Phoenix. Hi. Wait, so, wait, hold on. So, so we know, we know Matt is the ex to Emily. No, sorry, Mike. Mike is. Matt is a new boyfriend. Josh is in the cabin waiting for all of us to get there. Um, and then we have... There's, there's Sam, which I forgot who that is. Who's Sam? Sam snooped his phone. One of those games that would have me screaming at a TV. <laughs> what I mean, Tiff, this is perfect. You can you can scream at your screen now. You can scream at me. B the blood girl, nice. The blowed, the blonde. She's one of the best characters, the one you are right now. So her name is Ashley, and she likes. Who does she like? Chris. Who's Chris? Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. Dude, I knew it! Check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh, oh my god, <laughs> Jesus! Hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Matt, look in the hey, thing. Well. My yeah, dude, trust really sorry, me. Look in the thing. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, let me check it out. No. Uh. Should I have him look? <sighs> What's the relationship with everybody? Oh, I can't. I can't see from here. Damn it. Because he's, he's gonna think the wrong thing. Like they, they might just be arguing and stuff. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. They'll, they'll be okay. gone. Just you watch. Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen. It's probably nothing. Nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. Especially after she like insisted and had him carry all the bags and that's what she wanted to do like hug her ex dude Uh pick phone Oh Jesus you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Uh.
All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Grab Snowball. Ah! Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was no it's way I was gonna so shoot nice the scroll. Here, though. Zero way. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I'm looking all around like I'm so scared of finding the killer somewhere. <gasps> he was right there. No, okay, no, no, that's them. Okay. Jesus, man. I thought, I thought like. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? It seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session, so let's go a little bit deeper this time. Wait, hold on. Just uh, all the second Peter Stromer, right? Like just, just all the phone. Every time you, I, we get to your conversation, you're always like, "Oh, hello," as if it's like the first time we talk today. But then, like after answering two questions, we're out of time. How much do you charge for like ten minutes counseling? Damn, dude. I, I I would expect to get at least an hour. Also, like, am I drugged or something? Like, like you, he's always like, oh, you're here. Like, how, how did I get in that place then? This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now, pick up that book. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. He watches over us? He's, he's God? Which images makes us the most anxious? Uh, I mean, ne neither, but I'm going to say man. Oh, I mean, broad planes. I don't like either. Both are making me anxious, but one significantly more so than the other by like a magnitude. And it's going to be planes. I'm scared of like the plane crashing into water. Fear of drown. I mean, I don't fear drowning. I fear the water. I do fear heights though. Well, definitely more so a snake than a rat. Rats are, rats are super misunderstood creatures, I feel like. Well, definitely, definitely more a gun than a knife. Although, yeah. Cockroaches or a snake? Probably still a snake, because like a like a co like I mean I wouldn't be ecstatic to find a cockroach, but the cockroach is in. There's no chance that a cockroach is venomous. Is it weird? From uh, I'm more scared of a knife. Well, I mean, it it depends. Like, we're, uh, are you from the from the United States? Because, uh, uh, like, legitimately, I think that's, like, a... It, it probably influences uh, what you think about, like, guns in general. Just if, if you've been around them more in your life than, than not. I'm from Canada, so, like, we don't... You're from the UK? Okay, so we, we, basi we probably haven't been... Neither of us have probably been around guns all that much. I feel like 
it depends right because i feel like if somebody is chasing me with a knife i feel like there's more chances of me f being able to flee and stay alive like a gun like you have to be lucky like that the person misses or the gun malfunctions or something like i feel like there's less chances for me of escaping with my life now obviously probably a knife would hurt a whole lot more uh, than because because the person can like really take their time like i feel like a gun is it's probably like if you if you get shot for example like it's probably like a really really searing pain but it's like one and done i feel like a knife somebody can like really twist it this one shooter probably misses more uh probably yeah that's what i meant um uh, z love yeah for sure yeah i you're right like I, I i if the person wants to kill you a gun is pretty instantaneous if they're like aiming to kill who has like a knife um like like a bullet to the to the brain is probably pretty instant I would say I would say the, the snake still. I, I'd say like the, like the chances that like a, a cockroach is like I the chances that I'm I'm the one, the one person on the planet that finds a cockroach that happens to be venomous, are extremely low. I feel. So I'm gonna go with snakes. Are we done? No, we're not done. Oh, definitely clowns. Like a creepy scarecrow is creepy, but like a, a creepy clown, dude. Gore or crows? Well, definitely gore. What? What an odd choice. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. You're treating me for my anxiety and you startle me? Are you insane? Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be and the more enlightening you will find this experience. What is wrong with you, Peter Stromer? Uh, spiders are creepy. That is very true. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna go with spiders. I mean, one one does not stop the other from being true. It's just they're both both true. I don't fear needles. Still clowns. Hey, Chaz! Yes, there's a roulette going on. So if you want to participate in roulette, all you have to do is exclamation point roulette space, the number you're betting on, space, the amount of money you're betting. So, for example, I'm betting 200 on two, and Chaz is betting uh, 100 on three. I, fear, I don't fear dogs. Four, definitely. Uh, no, gore still. And mind you, gore doesn't like overly disgust me. This is very it's just the most true of the two. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. What do you mean we're out of time? We just started. It, 
It hasn't been five minutes. We even paused to chat with chat. That's insane. Previously on. So it's like episodes. That's kind of cool. Don't you guys think this is a little bit... Oh, come on. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. No! Shut oh, I don't wanna, oh, my God. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time. Yeah, he's the worst drink ever. Every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For, for the sake of my sisters. I need to go find Sam. You're such a liar, Emily. Bitch. Also, you were so hugging Mike, and then Mike went to like next to Josh. That's how almost met. kiss uh, oh. Ashley or whatever. Her name. No, not Ashley. Jess. Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah, it feels the same to me. So this chapter is called Jealous Jealousy, and now we're playing Josh. Complex, thoughtful, love. Not not very thoughtful, man. This is literally the worst possible place for you to be right now. Yeah, no, you have to be extremely stupid to go back there. I agree with that assessment. That's insane. 